Hey everyone, my name is Ellen and I make guitar tutorials right here on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can tune your guitar using a mobile app. Or if you don't want to use a mobile app, I have an entire playlist of different ways to tune your guitar which you can check out right here in this iCard. Now there are several different apps you can download to help tune your guitar, but today I'm going to be showing you guys Guitar Tuna because it's the most downloaded, but everything that I say in this video can usually apply to all of the other different apps as well. Alright guys, so let's walk through this together. Once you open up the app, it's going to ask you which instrument you're tuning, so go ahead and pick your guitar. Now most people have the six string guitar, so go ahead and pick that one. We're going to allow the microphone access because that's how it's gonna hear your string to make sure that it's in tune. Now I just freshly downloaded this app to my phone, so if you do get like a premium membership kind of thing, you can just X out of it. This is actually a free service that they provide, so go ahead and X out of that. And then once you have that open, it'll show you the screen for your guitar. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you want to pick the guitar that looks most like the guitar that you have. So if you go into the top left corner where it says guitar six string, you can see there's either a three and three option, so that's when you have three tuning pegs on one side, three on the other, or six in line, and that will show you like, like Stratocasters, things like that, where all of the tuning pegs are in line. So go ahead and choose which one matches your guitar, just so it's less confusing. I have three and three, so that's what we're gonna do today. And the next thing I want you to know about is the right top corner, there's an auto button. This is so important. So I want you to ask yourself this question. Have you recently tuned your guitar? If your guitar has been tuned in the past like two weeks or so, go ahead and keep that on. If it's not been tuned, you haven't played it for several years, or you just have no idea if it's in tune, turn the auto function off, and I will explain why in one second. If you have no idea whether or not your guitar's in tune at all, and you just have no idea what you're doing, turn off auto, it's gonna help a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this manually first, so with the auto turned off, just cause I think most people have really out of tune guitars, this is what you wanna do. So basically all you wanna do is you're going to tap on one of these strings and the app will play a tone. And that is what your guitar should sound like. So E, A, D, G, B, E, those are the names of the strings. Right now I'm tapping this low E string and it shows you orientation wise where that string is on your guitar. So you want to hold your guitar up to the app, make sure that it's lined and make sure that that's the string that you're tuning. So let me go ahead and grab a guitar so I can show you how this works. All right guys, so my guitar is kind of out of tune. So let's go ahead and tune it together. Now I usually like to tune my strings in order from lowest to highest. So we're gonna start with our low E string. You can hear the tone that the app plays and you wanna see if your string is close to it or not. So if you can't tell the difference, these are not the same tones. My string is a little bit lower. So the way you can tell this if you don't have a good ear is at the very top there's two symbols. On the left side is this kind of B looking symbol, that's a flat symbol. And on the right side is the pound key, so that's a sharp symbol. And if you don't know anything about music, flat means that your pitch is too low and the sharp sign means that it's too high. So basically this app is going to listen to your guitar as you pick it. And right here you can see it's telling me that it's negative 14, so I need to tune up. So I'm on the flat side. So now what you wanna do is have your app close by to your guitar, pick that string again, and now you want to turn your tuning knob to get it closer to the actual tone. So depending on how your guitar is strung, you have to turn it in different ways, but as you pick it and turn your knob, you can tell if it's going up or down. So you can see on my app here, it's going down. So I'm getting further and further away from that middle line, so now I wanna turn it the other way. All right, so I'm getting closer there. Remember when you're using your tuning knobs, not to tune them, like not to turn them too much. You wanna do it incrementally, or else your string might pop or something. All right, so you can see here I'm getting closer, negative nine, negative five, all right, so you can see it's changing colors too. Red means it's super out of tune, yellow means you're getting close, green means it's good. All right, so once you tune it and it's in tune and the app says so, it'll make that little dinking sound and it'll have a little green check mark. You're good to go, so now you wanna move on to your next string. So again, we're gonna press the A string. You wanna play yours. Again, mine's too low, so you wanna turn it. until it tells you you're in tune. So repeat that for all of the strings, and that's how you tune in manual mode. But let me show you something cool that you can actually do with the auto mode. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn auto mode back on. Now this is really important. The reason I told you guys to turn this off if you haven't tuned your guitar in a really long time is because in auto mode, what's gonna happen is when you pick a string on your guitar, this app is going to take its best guess at what note you're trying to play. 
But if your guitar is super out of tune, let's say your low E string might sound like it's closer to a B, right? Your app is gonna think that you're trying to tune your B string instead of your low E string. So as you turn that knob over and over again, trying to get it to that green, it's going to pop because your low E string is not meant to be tuned that high. So this is so important. If any of you guys are new to tuning apps, this is true for all the apps. Make sure that that auto mode is off if you are really unsure of what you're doing or your guitar is really out of tune. Now we already tuned the low E and A string in the manual mode. The rest of my four strings are still out of tune, but they're very close to where they're supposed to be. So I can use auto mode to tune the rest of these. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so starting with my D string, all you wanna do is you just pick it. And it already, did you see that on the app? It already guesses which note you're trying to tune. And just to make sure if you are in auto mode, um, keep an eye on what string is highlighted. See how my D string is highlighted? You, that's the one that we're tuning, so everything's good. Just keep an eye on that so you don't pop any strings. All right, so D string, it is too f sharp, so I want to turn it down. Perfect. So the only difference between auto and manual is that the auto mode is a little bit faster and easier, but you have to make sure your guitar is relatively in tune. Manual is a lot more um, safe if you're afraid of popping strings and things like that. So let me go ahead and just tune up my other three strings. Beautiful. So once your guitar strings are all in tune, you'll notice that all of them are lit up green. That means you've tuned correctly and you know you should be ready to go. However, if you do have a brand new guitar straight from like you know a shipping center or you have a really old guitar or your strings are really old, you may need to cycle back around. So after you've tuned all six strings, it's very likely that you know the low E that you started on is now out of tune again. This is pretty common with old guitars, cheaper guitars you know, guitars that aren't maintained very well. So just make sure to cycle back around and make sure that each string is in tune. So eventually you should be able to play all of them kind of in succession and you should hear the ding tone for all of them to tell you that they're in tune. All right, you should be good to go. All right, congratulations, you just tuned your guitar. Now that it's in tune, if you're looking for something to play and you are new, make sure to check out my beginner series right here. All 10 episodes are free right here on YouTube. We play through lots of songs, it's a lot of fun, and I actually have you playing your very first song within 10 minutes. So make sure to check it out if that's something you're interested in, but thank you so much for watching. If you have other tuning questions, make sure to leave them below, or check out my playlist for all the other ways to tune your guitar. And I think that ends the video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that it helped, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.